Alright guys, now this time, we already reviewed Day of Reckoning for the Nintendo GameCube. Now we're gonna review SmackDown vs. Raw for the PlayStation 2. After the huge big success of SmackDown Here Comes the Pain, what game can top it? Well, this game is not as good, but it's equally as good. How about that? Yeah, it's, it's not better than SmackDown Here Comes the Pain. This game is equally as good. So SmackDown vs. Raw was supposed to be the FU to, to, to the Xbox's game of Raw. Yeah, because this one has SmackDown vs. Raw. Two brands fighting against each other. And here on the front cover, we see Mr. McMahon. For those of you all who didn't know, that's Mr. McMahon. If you look real closely to his eyebrows and his, and you can barely see the rest of his face and his eye color changes blue and red. Yeah. This game was made in in late 2004, about like a few months after after Day of Reckoning. This game is a lot better than than what you think it is. I mean, yeah. There's online mode, another season mode with full-on voice acting, and we finally get some commentary on voice announcing, um, you know, announcers again compared to the previous game because we already know that in the previous game there's no voice acting whatsoever except for the referees. This game has a lot of voice acting, not only from the from the commentators and the ring announcer, but also the superstars themselves. Another new thing is is fighting clean and dirty. That's pretty much the other big change. So, just like in the previous game, you unlock legends, um, earn cash, and unlock some extra stuff like extra attires for certain divas, which is for brawn panties match, because just like Day of Reckoning, there's brawn panties, there's um, arenas to unlock, um, certain moves for your movesets, and even legends, just like I said earlier. Here we have Bret Hart, and there's two divas, I assume that's Tori Wilson and Stacey Keebler, and there's JR and and Jerry the King Lawler calling the action, and here we have a bout, and then we have a backstage brawl between, I guess, Randy Orton and John Cena. Just like Day of Reckoning, it's the same developer, but with different, you know, mechanics and game engine. So, this game is also pretty fun. Just like the previous game of Day, um, not Day of Reckoning, um, SmackDown Here Comes the Pain, this game, however, has a lot more tweaks and had a lot much better facial expressions. Even though the game has downgraded, you know, with the unlockable attires and not as much, you know, not as much variety. This game is still pretty fun in terms of, you know, story mode and, you know, everything else that's thrown in in this game. I still love this game. If you all have enjoyed this game, I'm very glad. But if you prefer SmackDown and Here Comes the Pain, I understand. Now, this game is so fun and just, uh, I enjoyed playing this game. I remember playing it back in 2010 along with SmackDown Shut Your Mouth. This game was really fun. I was addicted to it. I always played as Rey Mysterio, John Cena, Eddie Guerrero, and even um, Chris Jericho in the season mode. Yeah. I might show you guys a little bit of gameplay on each WWE game at some point, but you know, I'll wait because I'm still really busy. I'm still going to plan on uploading a few more reviews at some point during Christmas, so. I'll try my best to do more videos before and after Christmas and even on Christmas. So remember, comment, subscribe, and I hope you all once again have a good Christmas Eve or Christmas Day or even New Year's, even though I will upload a video on Christmas and New Year's. So once again, rock on.